throw it Forget traveling to Bakersfield if you want to. One couple is embarking on a journey of a lifetime. Channel 3's Deirdre Fitzpatrick went up 1,200 feet to get the story of their airborne engagement. One sure way to feel your heart soar is by taking a ride in a blimp. Steve Tomlin knows. It's just a totally different way to travel, I suppose, or to get airborne off the ground, and uh, it's quite, quite a relaxing way to go flying. Two of Steve's passengers love each other as much as he loves flying. That's why Brian traveled from his home in Phoenix to surprise his girlfriend Lynette with a ride, even flew her son in from Washington State for the trip, even invited a local TV crew. Suspicious yet? He even brought a poem along. And that's when this Shakespeare in love asked his Juliet a question. Lynette was so moved, she forgot to move her lips to reply. And then this couple that fits so well together tried out a ring that didn't quite fit. Meanwhile, Captain Steve looked on. He's flown this mission before. Uh, congratulations, folks. Thank you very much. This took Brian about three weeks to pull together, and it seems like everybody was in the know. Lynette's family knew, the people on the ground knew, Steve the pilot knew, everyone knew, except Lynette. People I sat with next on the airplane flying up here knew it. I said, hey, hey, check out Lynette. She's the one I'm going to propose to. <laughs> what would happen if someone said no when they were in your blimp? I don't know. You have to get back to the airfield pretty quick, I guess. No need for an emergency landing here. By the looks of it, Brian's feet will stay floating above the earth even after the blimp sets down. So what do you suppose you'll do for a honeymoon to top this? I have no idea. <laughs> this is pretty nice. Maybe I'll be in charge of the honeymoon. Somewhere over Sacramento, Deirdre Fitzpatrick, Channel 3 reports. And I'm sure they're both still <laughs> flying high. Brian and Lynette plan to get married in about a year. Lynette says she'll fly back to Phoenix to visit Brian, but probably not in a blimp.